conditional logic for ninja forms gives you the ability to create all kinds of um, interactive experience for your form so that you can request certain data as you need it. In our example on our conditional logic page, uh, if I reload it, it's currently not loading. There we go. There's a video there that wasn't loading. Uh, you can see that there, we have a little bit of an example where if you check this, it adds a field. If you type in the name Bob, it adds some text. Um, if you uncheck this box, you'll see that this removes an item and if you check it it adds it and so what I want to show you is how do you build a conditional logic form it's actually really easy um, but there are things to consider as you're building through your form so let's go ahead and take care of that so we're gonna go ahead and first we're gonna activate our conditional logic extension for ninja forms and then we're gonna go to all of our forms so that we can start editing them and we're gonna go ahead and add some conditional logic to our current contact form so right now if I preview this form you see our form preview page. You see all these fields. So name, email, uh, how can what can we help you with? Um, what product are you using? And there's only two products currently listed there. And then we have all these boxes. What question can we answer for you? What seems to be the problem? Your message. Um, we don't want all of these to show for all conditions. Instead, we want to conditionally show certain things based on what option um, they're looking for assistance with. So general inquiry would just be a message box. Pre-sales inquiry would let them choose a product. Product, uh, and support question would let them choose a product. So we're going to actually go ahead and set this up right now in our form. So if we go to our field settings, you see we have all of our fields there just like we would expect. Uh, we have a name field, email, and all these different things. So now we're just going to go ahead and quickly add some conditional logic. So first off, we want to adjust this product, the, the uh, product that they're dealing with. So if they choose from our, their drop down, if they choose pre-sales question or support question, we want to ask them what product that they're using. Uh, this is really important so that we can uh, find out exactly what the issue is or what they're asking a question about for support or what kind of pre-sales question they want for what product. So we can actually add some conditional logic to this. So here's how we'll do that. We'll go to our product and we're going to add a conditional statement. With it installed, you'll see you have this new box called conditional statements. We'll add a condition. And what is our action? We're going to actually show this field if any of the following criteria that we're about to add are true. So first we'll say, hey, if the what can I help you with is a pre-sales question, then we want to show this box. Or if what can we help you with is a support question we want to show this box. But we also want to show different products based on whether or not it is a pre-sales question or a support question. For instance, you'll notice that in our product list, we have, oops, that's not my product list. In this particular product list, we have Ninja Forms and Ninja Announcements. Now we offer pro versions or paid versions or extensions for these. Um, right now Ninja Forms Core is free, but we have extensions that we pay for, that we charge for. Um, but let's say these were both premium products and we have a free product. So for the free product, we still want to offer support for that particular product, uh, but we only want to answer pre-sales questions for the these two products right here. So here's how we accomplish that. So we have these products listed by default so if it's a pre-sales question it will show these but what we want to do is add a product if it's a support question this is really easy to do we'll do add another actually not add another criteria we're gonna actually add another entire uh, entire, entire conditional statement so we will say we want to add value of let's say our Nike Plus extension that we our plugin that we offer in the repo if all of these criteria match, if, and we'll come back, what can we help you with, if it's a support request. So now, this field will show up if they choose either of these options, but it'll also add this Nike plus value if the support question is chosen in particular. So that's our tough conditional logic one. Now we have these little boxes, so oh, what question can we answer for you? So we'll add a conditional statement for that. We only want to show this if what I can help you with is, and what is our question here? Uh, what can I help you with? So if it's a support question. 
Uh, oh, actually, what questions can I answer for you? So we're going to say this is a pre-sales question. So we'll set that. And then we have what it seems to be your problem. So that's a support question. So we'll add the criteria. Show this if what I can help you with is equal to support request. And then finally, your message. We only want to show this. So we'll add a criteria. If show this, if the what I can help you with is a general inquiry. That's it. So we set up our statements. We're going to save this file. We're going to come back to our preview form and we're going to refresh it. And as we refresh it, you'll notice now all you have is your name, email, and what can I help you with. Now, if I say general inquiry, it just shows the your message. They can type in their message and go. If they choose pre-sales question, it'll ask them what product and what questions can we answer for you so they can choose their product. But notice it only has our two premium products. And then if they choose support request, notice it still says what product, but now there's a Nike Plus option. And this is, box has changed to what seems to be the problem. So that should give you a little bit of an idea of how you can set up conditional logic on your site. It's a really powerful tool and we hope that you enjoy it.